We are KYM Keys, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Planet Earth. Welcome all you crazy, crazy humans and non-humans. Those extraterrestrials coming to you live. Ladies and gentlemen, the Houston, Texas, National Anthem. Yeah! My wife said there are no one. One more time. <laughs> She's leaving for good and I told her it's fine. Yeah! What should I do now? I have to prove that I'm smart. Be someone in Houston. I'll do my The overpass says the Houston model won graffiti day. It opened our eyes to a style of our own. People in Houston, they hold the Mexican Danny. Thanks for the help, Freddy. It's my pleasure. Barbacoa and Big
Westside National Anthem Also the West Sides If you ask them I rode to the North Side In my really cool old ride I ordered barbacoa instead They didn't understand what I said They asked will you have a sandwich instead Growl, 
Jimmy Gonzalez on guitars, and I'm Mexican Danny. Thank you for listening to the Wolfman Jack Radio Show. Ooh. Barbacoa and Big Big, it's how the valley does get fed. Ah. 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 pretty friend. Yeah! Jimmy Gonzalez All the towns in the valley 
Danny has an ability of such power in his music, and he can just force you along. And at the same time, he can drop back and do uh, a ballad that is so beautiful. And I don't know many that can have the edge and the, the, the force of his music and at the same time can have the, the beauty of it as well. Hello, Selena. This is your friend, Danny Moreno. This is the demo recording of the lyrics I showed you that you said you would love to record. Jesus Angel and I wrote the song. Juan Gabriel reviewed the verses and rewrote verse number five. Juan demanda sus bendiciones y él desea que esta canción sea un éxito mundial para ti. Okay, Selena, we got Freddie Fender helping us out on acoustic guitar. Espero que les guste bastante, Danny, su servidor, Freddie Fender. here on ABC. And today we've got a place once again as we did yesterday and uh, it, it's a great place. Of course we're live right now. If you're hearing me, come on over to the Freak Show exhibit. Come on down all you local yokels and come see this Freak Show animal. It's a once in a lifetime you don't want to miss. Coming to you live from the Nevada County State Fair about an hour north of Las Vegas, Nevada with my good friend Dave Dibble Danny who has brought him this freak show, 50 freaky, crazy animal, dear devil daddy, how you doing today? Doing great, great to be in the Las Vegas area here at the Nevada County State Fair. We're currently exhibiting 50 freak mutant animals. We're working the state fair circuit at this point. We're going to be at the Houston, the 1995 Houston Livestock Show coming up. Originally from the Rio Grande Valley where we have a roadside attraction and exhibit the freak mutant animals at our Museum of the Incredible in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. I like your outfit, Danny. I understand that the designer will be live with us on the phone. As a matter of fact, she's on the phone waiting right now. Selena Quintanilla will be right back live. Hey, Mom, one of these drinks has 30% less sugar than the others. It's not a wine punch. It's not high C. It's Kool-Aid and less sugar. Live at the Nevada County State Fair, about an hour north of Las Vegas, Nevada, with my good friend Dare Devil Danny, who currently holds two world records. Selena keeping me alive on the phone right now. Hey, Danny, how are you? When are you going to come visit me? I have some ideas for you. Hey, Selena, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. I know you're going to be at the 1995 edition of the Houston Livestock Show. I will be showing over there, too. I hope we run into each other over there. We are KYMT, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Planet Earth. Welcome all you crazy, crazy humans and non-humans, those extraterrestrials, coming to you live with special guest Daredevil Danny. Hello, Danny. Thank you for having me on the show. Okay, Danny, you just uh, returned from a 22-city tour which started in Acapulco, Mexico and ended in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. But 
along this tour, you it, you 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 made some history. You made some records. You made the news. You were on world news. You know, I saw something on on the news the other day, which is pretty interesting. That uh, you were incarcerated because of an illusion show that went wrong live on stage. Right. It was a bat, a bat that did not want to cooperate. Right? Well, actually, it was a magic illusion gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was a twenty-two show tour mm -hmm. and out of 22 times three times and one in Acapulco mm -hmm. two in Mexico City and three in Rio de Janeiro Brazil during Festival Carnival the bat bit me in the hand during the show so it was <laughs> so the fans were stuck in you couldn't just pull them off you there, couldn't just keep going I mean it was hooked right so I hold two old records at the time mm -hmm. and I cannot cry like a baby on stage the show must go on so mm -hmm. in order to improvise and make it look like part of the show I bit the head off the bat. It took about over 30 seconds to get the <laughs> bat off my hand. And the true the showman. The show must go on, of course. The show must go on. But you were arrested on. for that, were you not? In Rio de Janeiro? Actually, it was considered, uh, yeah. You were charged with disorderly conduct, correct? Correct. But it was the bat that was actually being disorderly. <laughs> well, uh, but what it was, it was an attempt to get money off American. Right, right. Performers. They were making an excuse to incarcerate you Incarcerate behind them. bars, which they did, and they lived there for 62 days, Correct. and they gave you a five-gallon bucket for your latrine facilities, I guess we could say. That's right. And that they refused to empty. But the whole while, you made the news. Did you know you were on the news uh, while you were behind bars? I mean, did All you have any contact the with the outside world? After about a week when they finally allowed me to get an attorney, and the attorney informed me uh, that, yes, I'll get some publicity on it. Yeah. And this publicity was coming from a riot that was demanding your release. Correct. And uh, among these rioters was a UFO cult. Correct. And the Hare Krishna... Oh, Temple Followers. Temple yeah. Followers, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. Followers. I got a little tongue tied there. Okay, so, they're demanding your release. You're collecting a group of followers outside from every gamut of perception that you can think of. UFO cult, Hare Krishna, Temple Followers, just... Regular people that love Daredevil, Danny, we already know you because you're world famous already. There was about five microbuses full of hippies too. Okay. To the riot. Thing. Okay. So now <clears throat> the the uh, Rio de Janeiro Police Department didn't have any choice upon uh, at this point, right? Because they were about ready to burn down the police department. Plus, they knew that they finally realized that you weren't going to give them the money they were demanding because you were being incarcerated and held against your will for no reason at all, except for defending yourself against a crazy bat. But, you also made another record, upon release, is that correct? Well, uh, <laughs> you have the record for the quickest arrest upon release. You were arrested within 30 seconds of you walking out of that police department, is that right? Yes. And you made the news, again. On the news, you know, I, I did see that, but there was a lot of people out there. There was rioters, of course, you know, you had crazy people all over this place, ready to burn this thing down. But I saw a man pissing on the, uh, Police department, was that you, Danny? Well, fortunately, yes. And that's how you got the record for the quickest arrest upon release. Quickest re arrest. <laughs> 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 well, actually, I was mad because of the money they extorted me and the payola they forced me to get right, right. out of jail. So, yeah. in retaliation, I urinated on the police station front wall. Wow. It's not so, something I'm proud of, but hey, when you're mad at the moment, what can you do? Well, I guess all publicity is good publicity. I mean, you got the record for being the first man to bite the head off of a live bat. On stage, you uh, the record for the quickest rearrest upon release, and you made the news, and they showed you on the news peeing on the police department in Rio de Janeiro. Man, that's you know that's a lot for one day. <laughs> you know, it all culminated to that day, right? Everything that happened. A true showman, indeed. And let's go ahead and remind the viewers today that you will be a sifting secret in Roy in their live acts this Saturday night. Daredevil Danny. Y'all make sure you make that show. It's going to be a good one. Coming up after these messages, we'll give you an update on the Cold War. President Reagan and Fidel Castro look like they're ready to put on the gloves. KYMT, Las Vegas. We play. Hey, Daredevil Daddy, you are a very interesting person. You've been all over the world. You've been televised in 15 countries. You've had 18 broken homes. You know, evil can evil. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. But you also know the Pope John Paul II. And Mother Teresa, you had three meetings with her, correct? Sir. How do, you, how do you explain the fact that you have friends from this side and that side, and they're all so interested in knowing me, they're Danny. 
Well, the meetings that I had with Pope John Paul II and Mother Teresa were, the subject line was the freak animals that exhibit and the end times to see if there was any kind of possible connection between the two. So, so what, was, what was the Pope like? Very special person. Very special person. He's a busy man, but uh, you can feel a certain joy or happiness in him. A spirit, a spirit of joy, huh? A, 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 a shining light in this dark world, huh? Correct. Mother Teresa. What about Mother Teresa? You know, I understand that she is like one of the most apologetic, uh, the most empathetic, the most spiritual woman on earth. What was it like? She, Did she hug you? Did she give you she your hand? Yeah, she was a type of She's a very, very humble person. I felt of no arrogance or humility in her. Yeah, you were the pure, the pure, merciful and giving type. understanding, of course, of course. So, 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 not only are those your friends, but you also know Evil Knievel, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger, a true showman. So, not only do you have the Siegfried and Roy uh, thing going on with them, assisting them, um, you are currently Nevada County State Fair. Yes, we're working the U.S. State Fair circuit at this point. We just uh, performed at the San Antonio Livestock Show. That was our sixth year. Mm -hmm. Houston Livestock Show, Dallas State Fair. Uh, we were at the uh, L.A. County State Fair. Uh, we've been at Washington State, Chicago, New York, all over the place. Daredevil Danny, you are a very interesting fella, and we will be right back with Daredevil Danny after these commercials from Pepsi and Doritos. Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Planet Earth. Welcome all you crazy crazies and humans and non-humans, extraterrestrials, coming to you live. We are the greatest crazy show on Earth. So, today, instead of our usual abnormal topics of the weird and the factual, non-factual, mythological, apocalyptic conspiracy theories, we're going to take a break from all that and welcome our guest, Daredevil Danny, my good friend. You know, my motto is, insane, stay sane in a crazy world, but... You, you have got to be the most sanest person I know then. <laughs> because who else is going to get released because a UFO coach is demanding them, the Hersh Krishnoff, and among all the others, for biting the head off of a bat, pissing on a police department, making the, the whole record for the, for the quickest arrest upon release, then I have to say you might be my idol right now. <laughs> well... It's been a crazy year, 1980. We had, uh, I'm also the first illusionist or person to vanish an elephant and a car off stage in the Latin countries. So I think my show was just too heavy for the Latin countries, but my show was too heavy to be performing in the United States. Yeah. You've, uh, you've been televised in 53 countries. Uh, you know, I mean, who cares if the U.S. don't want it, but the U.S. is going to know their devil daddy one day. So, okay. Now, everyone already knows this, all, all this that we talked about, you've been on the news. Let's talk about, let's talk about your songwriting with Ramon Ayala and Juan Gabriel. Uh, two very, very popular, probably the, the top uh, performers in the Latin world right now. Uh, how did that come to be and what are they like? Well, they're great. Uh, a quick summary of Ramon Ayala uh, has a ranch there in the valley, about 20 minutes from our ranch. And uh, so that's how I got to know the guy. Uh, Juan Gabriel, also through being out in the circuit, I ran across him, I just mentioned I had a few songs, and he said, okay, let's check them out. So how long was your, uh, was your stint with him? You know? Yeah. Okay, well, I keep in contact with Juan Gabriel, I've been to his, uh... Well, we'll, we'll get back to that, because you've got friends like a bad at field, but, uh, we'll be right back after these commercial sponsors from Mellow Yellow and Doritos. We'll be right back. <laughs> Danny, you are, you, you are, you're not, you're not just a live performer, you're also an entrepreneur, correct? Yes, I'm from the Rio Grande Valley in Texas, and I have a small uh, trading post with the Museum of the Incredible, uh, about two and a half hours from my friend. Now that's the one with the 58 mutant animals, correct? Exactly, on exhibition to the public. Now is the star of that show, is that the pig with the human face? Well, actually, we exhibit two pigs with human like face. I'm not sure I want to see that, but I think I'm not <laughs> paid to go. But, uh, okay. 
Now, you also uh, appeared on uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not with a three-legged rooster. Was that your rooster? Yes, actually, we have two three-legged roosters, but they featured one of them. Two three-legged roosters. Two roosters and six legs. Huh. Interesting. A free show continued, right? Unfortunately, folks, it's time to wrap it up with Jerry Devil Denny, but don't forget to go to the Nevada County State Fair where he is exhibiting the 58 Freak Show Animals. And Danny will be there live to give you autographs and show you his fang scars from that bat. Thank you, Danny. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you, Danny. KYMT Las Vegas. <laughs> AC AM 570 here in Los Angeles. This is a crazy year this year, 1980, during the tour of Daredevil Danny. He bit the head off a bat during his illusionist show in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He also bit the head off a bat during his show in Acapulco, Mexico City. He was arrested in Brazil for biting the head off the bat, and when he was released, he urinated on the police station front wall. He was rearrested 30 seconds or less. This guy is one crazy daredevil. He currently holds two world records. Okay, Selena, here's the demo of the duet I wrote for you and Juan Gabriel. I wrote it in English and Juan Gabriel reviewed it and wrote the Spanish lines. According to Juan, a song of this type can put you and Juan in the English and Spanish market worldwide. Okay, Freddy Fender on guitar. Los dos son buenos amigos, aparte de ser buenos artistas. Yo he tenido la suerte, la fortuna de estar en su casa, que por cierto tiene una casa súper original. Para mí es una de las casas más hermosas que yo he visto en mi vida. Qué bueno que les voy a decir, cada vez que yo tengo tiempo voy y como con ellos, o sea, eso sí, aparte de que uno compone precioso, la otra también, y los dos cantan maravilloso, cocina divino. Este amigo está aquí, que los quiero mucho, que les desea todo lo mejor. Le dar las gracias a ustedes dos y a todo el público en general por darme la oportunidad de poder civilizar lo que yo siento por ellos. Los bendigo. Les deseo todo lo mejor. Diego. Outside. 
San Antonio We cruise low and slow When we're hopping and we're dropping We go with the flow Southside San Antonio, we cruise low and slow. Bien bajito, suavecito, we put on a show. Here in Southside San Antonio. Hydraulics just for you In the west side The whistle Tell you what we know When we play there And we stay there We put on a show Was I correct in assuming that that was your first record? That's my first one. Where did you write it? Here. Were there any particular circumstances? Were you sitting out on a, a hayloft somewhere thinking about the world? Or I just wrote a whole pile of songs together. If I watch a Spurs game one more time, she's leaving for good with a best friend of mine. I'm the biggest Spurs freak. The game's about to start. What do I do now? I have to prove that I am smart. I'm gonna miss him. My friend was cool. I'm watching the Spurs game. I'm not a fool. I'm the biggest Spurs freak that there is. My friend can keep her. She's all his. I'm Mexican Danny, and my mother-in-law is here. She's helping my wife back, and she's yelling in my ear. The Spurs are gonna win another championship. My wife kicked the TV set and broke it. What a treat! I'm gonna miss him, 
My friend was cool. I'm watching the Spurs game. I'm not a fool. I'm the biggest Spurs freak that there is. My friend can keep her. She's all his. Uh -huh. Let's hear it for your home team. What do I need a wife for? Anyway, a Spurs game is better. Any old day. At least the TV doesn't yell at me all night. I'm gonna miss my friend. The dude was all right. I'm gonna miss him. My friend was cool. I'm watching the Spurs game. I'm not a fool. I'm the biggest Spurs freak that there is. My friend can keep her. She's all his. My friend's gonna go through Spurs withdrawals. He'll start shaking and start a lot of quarrels. He'll call me secretly. During the Spurs games, I can tell him the score in the top names. My wife said if I watch a Spurs game one more time, she's leaving for good with the best friend of mine. I'm the biggest Spurs freak, the game's about to start. My wife kicked the TV set and broke my Estados Unidos. Usted de Mexico? Hey, Pancho Claus is here. He remembers us, bro. Oh, he's not Pancho Claus, Grandma. We busted. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Grandma jumped out the bathroom window fast. <laughs> the Border Patrol chased her in the suburban at last. The energy drink Grandma drank made her crash. The Border Patrol accidentally gave it too much gas. Man, she ended up looking like a tortilla. And the agent shouted, Oh, Mama Mia. Did you buy this fake ID at the flea market? Yes or no? Who is the President of the United States? Or off you go. The president is a bunch of via. The chupacabras. The the tooth fairy. I don't know. I forgot to ask, bro. Then the agent told her this, you know. Ho ho ho! Back to Mexico you go. Well, Grandma's not in the USA anymore. Her and a boatload of Mexicans were shown the exit door. She's digging a tunnel so she can come back. That crazy old lady needs a really good way. Grandma got the boot. She was here illegally. They also loaded up old Grandpa and loaded me. 
We're taking swimming lessons. We're swimming back tonight. The border patrol ran over her. They didn't kill her and do the job right. <laughs> Grandma got run over by La Migra. She was on food stamps illegally. Her lowrider was searched by all the agents. They busted her with a real fake ID. You already swam back, Mexican Danny? And you brought back your crazy grandma and granny? Sir, space aliens planted the fake ID in my purse, bro. Okay, I bought it at the flea market, you know. Did you pass some gas? That smell is mean. Oops, I eat too many beans. <laughs> We made it back to the United States. We reached our goal. Mexican Danny from San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> it's the Monster Party Dance. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Such a frightening sight! The big bad moon! 
Halloween party, a killer party, a thriller party. Let's dance real mean and we all scream too.
Don't smoke that stuff, even if it's free. I tried it one time and saw stuff I didn't want to see. the atmosphere with a cosmic love song that recently won the Poopy Award. Yeah. I'm no angel. I sell cat tacos. If I tell people, it'll attract all the wackos. I sell cat tacos out of my taco trunk. Here, kitty, kitty, help me make a quick bug. <laughs> There's no straight cats, cause I fried them all. And my tacos are better than at the mall. <laughs> People won't know why they're in the bathroom for a week. If they ever find out, oh, they're gonna freak. <laughs> I'm no angel, I sell cat tacos. If I tell people, It'll attract all the wackos! <laughs> Cat meat's good! It's real low in fat! When you finish throwing up, you'll agree with that! I wrote the book, 10 Ways to Cook Cat Meat! My taco truck is parked right down the street! A skin cat looks like a cabrito, you know? If they catch me, I go straight to the can, bro! Here, kitty kitty! Here comes a kitchen cop! I have to hide you! Oh, I'm glad he didn't stop! Well, now and then, I catch a dog or two! Oh, I make tamales! It's special for you! <laughs> Angel, I sell cat tacos, bro. Don't you remember? I sold you tacos to go. Lots of tacos. Here, kitty kitty, who's your big daddy? With all the profits, I bought a new kitty. Mexican Danny, and Wolfman Jack forced me to record this dirty song. I was an innocent little angel until I met Wolfman. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> For a complete explanation of the preceding piece of humor, send 10 cents to the show and allow 13 weeks for delivery. <laughs> You're listening to the Wolfman Jack Show, and this is the Wolfman Jack Anthem. I'm Mexican Danny. Great. No, he's not. That's it. No, he's not. It's so silly. Well, I don't know. So he said, 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 